Project 914. Um, in this video, I'm going to get started and hopefully finish making the engine and transmission mounts um, to get the Subaru engine and transmission in there. Uh, I got my tubing bender in the mail. That's this guy right here. And a bunch of tubing over here and metal. Uh, so first step that we're going to do is make just the base plates for where they're going to mount on the car. So there's two in, uh, transmission mount locations where the stock transmission um, mounts and then two spots where the stock engine mounts are and I'm going to make plates out of 3 16th inch steel um, that fit onto those so that I can tie into those stock mounting locations so I don't have to drill anything on the car. Um, let me see, let me grab something real quick. So here's the steel I'll be making those mounts out of. This is a piece that came off of, uh, this is where the original engine mounts are and these are where the holes are, these two outer ones on that uh, original engine mount. So I'll use these to make new plates out of them. I Actually no, I could not use these since they're uh, bent and stuff. I'll have to make them new metal. And then on the stock Porsche transmission, which is down here, uh, those have the bolt holes, Th those have uh, transmission mounts on those and they have the correct dimensions and bolt holes on them. So I'll just use those to trace out onto here to make those plates and then we'll bend up some tubing and uh, get started on actually making the engine mounts. So to start, we'll just trace out these guys, the stock engine and transmission mount, basically pieces, I don't know what to call them, flanges, whatever, onto here and uh, get these cut out and drilled and everything. Let's get started. So guys, as you just saw, I cut these out with the uh, chop saw and then cleaned them up with the angle grinder and they all feel nice and they all look nice with the rounded corners. Let me see if I can't focus it on that. There we go. See that? Nice and clean. So now, if I focus it back on myself, um, what I need to do is drill the holes in these so that they have the correct bolt hole locations um, and then make sure they mount to the car okay. Um, my plan for this is I'm going to have tubing coming out of this at an angle like that and then for these ones they're real small so I'm going to take a piece of the tubing go straight down off of it and then uh, about an, in an inch and a half and then have another piece of tubing attached to that at basically a 90 degree angle, but that's how I'll do these guys. Um, so my next step is I gotta make sure the bolt holes are right on those, uh, just drill them out, and make sure they mount on the car okay.
So guys, I just got the two, uh, both of these drilled up. As you can see, there's both of them through right there. And the bolts pass through them real easily. They come apart, no problem. So those holes are all in the right place. Now I've got to drill the holes in both of the rear mounting plates. So guys, I now, now have the holes drilled in the rear mounting plates. And I also cut out these tubes. And these are the tubes. Let me take these apart real quick. So these are the tubes that um, basically the main uh, tubes are going to run to. So the main tubes will start on the rear mounting plates. Um, these guys. And then, because these are right here. So they're going to come out of here at like a 90 degree angle. Go forward and then curve down. And these are the front, front mounting plates. These will be welded to here. They probably won't be this long at the end, um, but they're going to be welded on there like that. And that main tube is going to come in and intersect with that, and that's how that will hold on. So I'm going to weld these tubes onto these plates right now. So guys, of course the camera quit recording right when I started welding, but all I did was just throw a couple of tacks on each one of those. As you can see, if you'll focus. See where is it focused? Right there. So I just threw a couple of tacks on there. Um, reason for that is if I do end up needing to redo anything, I can just break it off and grind it back down. Um, but there we go. So basically, I'm gonna mount these on the car now because they're nice and solid, and uh, then we can start bending those main tubes. So guys, it's been a couple of days since that last clip there, um, and I've done a little bit of work off camera just because I wanted to experiment with this. I am learning as I go, so I have not done uh, most of this before. I'm um, just sort of teaching myself as I go, you know, watching videos online, that sort of thing. But uh, I wanted to show you guys the progress that I've made, so let's check it out. So thus far I have made this, which doesn't look like much. All it is is two bins on a single plane. Um, but this is that main um, runner that goes this is where it mounts on the rear that near that rear transmission mount and then this is going up to that front piece that i just finished making that is mounted on the car so this is flat because it's mounting on that flat flange and then this piece has a mouth cut into it so that it uh fits around the tube so i can weld it on to that guy over there um so right now I'm going to take this over to the car and I'm going to tack weld it onto those plates and onto that mount so we can check it out and then I'm going to attempt to recreate a second one of these. Um, basically the exact same thing, well hopefully the exact same thing, um, to do for the other side. So uh, let me throw this up on the car and get it welded on. So guys, I now have this piece all tacked together, as you can see. See it running all the way up to the back here. Comes across and goes to the front there. So I'll unbolt it uh, and take it off the car and we'll check it out a little bit closer and then try to replicate it for the other side. So here it is off of the car all attached to everything. I'll be honest, I got ahead of myself. I went ahead and just welded the whole thing. You know. So, you know how it goes. Oh, it's not gonna focus for me. Um, so yeah, I just went, up, went ahead and welded the whole thing. Um, I was impatient and I really wanted to play with my new toys, so. I just did it. Holy crap, this thing does not want to focus. There we go. There we go. So, that's how she looks. So, I'm going to bend up another tube uh, and cut another tube just like this and build the other piece for the other side. So, I'll be back once I've all finished with that. I've already got the tube loaded up, so I'm ready to go. So, guys, it is now the next day, and I have finished with both of the longitudinal pieces. 
and look both looking about exactly the same. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bolt them onto the car, uh, and then uh, with them bolted onto the car and everything, then I should be able to make the front crossbar that is going to uh, have the actual engine mounts attached to it. Um, but in order to know the length for that bar that ties these two together, I need to have them on the car. That'll be the easiest way to do it. So I'm just gonna bolt them on, make some measurements, cut that tube and uh, get it fitted in there. So in that last clip I mentioned that I was going to be making the crossbar that the uh, engine mounts were going to mount on, but I had a little bit of change of plans. I pulled the engine and the tranny back out and separated them um, because I think the best way for me to do this since I don't have the actual rubber, the factory engine mounts, which I'm going to use for the engine. Since I don't have those yet, I'm trying to pick them up later, but I still want to make progress. I'm going to start with the transmission mounts, um, and since I can line it up just based on the stubs, I'll just line up the stubs with the uh, hubs on the car, I'll be able to make the transmission mount. So basically I'll have to tie this into uh, those tubes, um, and so for these, for what I'm going to bolt to this, I'm just going to use that same 3 16th inch plate. So I have those two lines in that plate already measured out um, so that I have a plate that comes out here and then it's going to have a tube that comes out of it um, and that's how that is going to be mounted so uh, I'm going to take that plate and go cut it out and then drill some holes for these bolts and put this up in the car and bolt these in and uh, get building I guess All right. so now transmission is back in the car all lined up I've got the two longitudinal pieces bolted in as well. And here are those plates. So uh, it looks like I'm gonna just take some tubing and bend it 90 degrees um, in the tubing bender, that little short piece of tubing right there in the center of the shot. I'm just gonna bend that 90 degrees and then hold it up to here and see about how close it is. I don't think I need quite 90 degrees, but I'm gonna bend it 90 degrees and then cut it down to what I need. So uh, let's do that real quick. So that bottom cut is basically perfect. Uh, the top one, I wasn't cutting for length because I still need to notch it. So uh, now I'm gonna mark it where I need to notch it. So after a cut, a couple cuts and uh, you know a little bit of grinding, I believe I have it where I want it, which is just like that. So, I'm going to uh, tack it in place and then work on the driver's side. Alright, so I've got the tranny mounts all welded up and I've got it bolted to the transmission upside down so I can make a couple marks um, just so I know where, about where um, I need to run the tubing just based on in relation to the transmission because I want it to go right below the transmission right here. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Um, so I've got that. I've got the piece of tubing cut out to about the right length, that guy right there. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to take this whole thing, unbolt it from the tranny, bolt it back into the car, um, cut that piece to the exact length with notches, and weld it on. Um, and that should be around uh, about what I'm going to do for the day, just because it's getting late and I've gotten a bunch done today. So I'm going to get this unbolted and bolt it into the car. Alright guys, so the engine mount crossbar is all welded in, as you can see back there. I can show you from the engine bay as well. See it from up here. See that? 
So there's that guy. So now that all that's left is to actually tie the engine mounts in. I might do that off camera, maybe not. It'll be a couple days before I get them. Uh, the actual engine mounts themselves, that's why I'm not doing them in this episode, otherwise um, I would. But that is going to be it for today, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, let me know if you have any questions, put them down in the comment sections below. But yeah, I had fun making that. It's the first time I've ever used a tubing bender. First time I've ever welded anything other than sheet, thin sheet metal. It's turned out all right, so yeah, guys. I guess I'll see you next time. Peace.